this is Coogan Cassis. We're at De Vere's Hotel here in Bolton on the day of fight night. Rock and Crow here at Bolton Arena with me, topping the bill. Former world champion and Welsh model, Gavin Rees. You do a bit of modelling in Wales, didn't you, Gavin? Well, I don't know what that to be honest with you, but I'll give it a go if you want. <laughs> the money's we'll right. Very far. If the money's right, Gavin will model. Um, yeah, was you right after the weigh-in yesterday? Um, same as ever, you know, obviously a bit drained. I was again down to 997 and half, got a bit too much off, but um, I was drained tired like everyone else. Um, any fighter who tells you they end a bit drained after the win, you probably tell you through, uh, through porties. But you know, I'm recarb now, refueled, and I'm feeling great now, I'm ready to go. Um, talk to me a little bit about how the training camp's gone with Renzo and Gary this time round. Yes. Pretty standard for you? Yeah, it's gone great after the Brona loss. Obviously, I um, had a week off, got straight back in the gym, and I started training straight away. And then we've known for this fight now for a good 10 weeks, so we had a great training camp, great sparring, can't fault anything. I'm 110% ready for this fight. Did you watch um, Adrian Brown's fight against Paulie Manalaji where he moved up to uh, welterweight to fight him? Yeah. And what did you think? It's hard to believe it. Um, he fought, fought me at the lightweight, to be honest. He, still, I mean, he looked bigger than Manalaji at 10.5 stone. I would probably look, I mean, he looked good, but I think if he pushed it a bit more, he maybe could have got a stoppage. But he seemed happy just to go the 12 runs and win on the points. Do you believe he's got the power at 147 to, to really make a statement in that division? Mm, only time will tell. I don't know, he didn't really, don't think he really hurt Malazzi that much, to be honest. I think probably 140 would be his better weight. But what is up to him? Eh? He's got to win a world title at well, um, welterweight, so we might just say he's wrong. You know, he's three weight world champion. People saying he picked an easier opponent in Malnagy, maybe he did. But I think it's some cracking fights down here at um, 10 stone for him. Just the last thing about Adrian Brono, you've obviously shared a ring with him. How good is he? How good was he in there that night? Well, he's obviously, he's obviously way too good for me, and that's uh, down the truth. But what is this his strength, like I say? How he got on the light with Adrian, and then he still looked big and strong at um, welterweight. So he was just so strong, so big, he's so much bigger than me, hit hard. And yet so fast, really good opponent. Good um, quality. Moving forward for you, as it's been pointed out, you've won everything there is to win. Is this something you haven't won, actually? Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Yeah. Um, okay, but you've won the major honours, British, European, world title. You're at a stage of your career now that, you know, win this fight here and there, there could be a possibility of a shot of Ricky Burns. Is that something that... Does interest you, Gavin? Yeah, of course. That's why uh, every, every fighter fights when we get this sort of level. You know, um, I want to be in a world title fight, some world champion. I want to go up there tonight and I want to put a great display on and show everybody how much I got left. And maybe I, I'm 33, yeah, but I think there's a lot of fighters now going into their older years. You look at Frock, Pacquiao, Mayweather. They're all 30 plus and they're all still doing great things. And um, it's the same as me. Um, my last few fights, apart from my last one, obviously, uh, Bruno was obviously a different level against Matthews, Mazash. I think I've improved in, in my performances from years ago. Come in, went over there, done the jobs, and hopefully going to do the same tonight again. An opponent you and um, Anthony have obviously got in common is Derry Matthews. Uh, Derry Matthews has beaten Anthony Collar twice in you know a relatively short space of time. You know the rematch come. You've beaten Derry Matthews. Um, is there anything to be taken from that? going into this fight? Ah, well, it's not really, you know, things like that happen in boxing, you know, I, I fully expect to win this fight, and I think I can do a great job, and I'm going to look good doing it. And I think, um, I think I'll stop him down the line somewhere, I'm not sure what around, I'll take my time, pick my shots, and then sure I'm going to stop him, you know, to be honest, I really think he's only, he said it himself, he's only really a super featherweight, you can make super featherweight easy, so, you know, I should be going in it. If I still got any ambitions of being a world honours, doing a good job on him and making a statement like. So what's the time now? One o'clock. Um, I don't suppose you're gonna be fighting till around No, I think we're at bus ten, something like that, so I've got a long wait, yeah. Long wait. So what are you gonna do between now and uh... Um I think we're gonna go down to Nando's or something now and get a bit of food, a bit of grub. What else is it to do enough I've been mean, to the Trafford Centre shopping today. Bought too much, I didn't want to spend, but I bought it all. What have you bought? Um, what have you bought, Gab? Oh, 
flip flops, shoes, <laughs> <laughs> shorts, a <laughs> couple of t shirts, <laughs> every shot I really bought something. But, you know. That's not for Wales, you going on holiday? Yeah, I'm going on holiday next Thursday, oh, yeah. but it's with my holiday shopping, yeah. With my girlfriend and my daughter at Ralkwood, yeah, so put a few holiday clothes. Oh, that'd be good. Well, let me know when you're going to Nando's, I might come with you. I'll yeah, come with Scotch Gun. You know Fancy what? a bit of Nando's. We'll, uh, we'll get Renz out of pay. <laughs> you have no chance. <laughs> 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 Alright, listen, looking forward to tonight. Um, it's a great domestic clash. Like I said, it's going to set one of you up for uh, yeah, a shot further down the line, uh, whether that be against Ricky Burns or whatever, you know, so be it. But. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Good to see you in better spirits. Because I, I know I caught you at a bad time yesterday. Literally just after you weighed in, I smashed the camera in your face. and no. like, Gav, talk to me. So, you know, you put that right now. No problem. All right. This Thank is Gogan Cassis with Gavin Rees, The Rock. Thank you very much. <laughs>